I have the pleasure of calling on Yemisi Akindele, the founder and CEO of High Achievers Global Foundation. And she's going to give a talk on the importance of diversity and inclusion in the workplace. Yemisi. Thank you very much once again. Um, as we said, it's very important that we have an understanding of the benefits of having um, diversity and inclusion in the workplace. So um, once again, thank you for the opportunity and let's dive into it. So what is diversity? Well, clearly diversity is the representation of a range of traits and experiences in the company's workplace or the, the workforce, um, if you were to say. Now, what are those traits and what are those um, characteristics? They are very simple, gender, race, physical ability, religion, age, status in society in some cases. Um, it's been shown, research has shown that 67% of job seekers consider workplace diversity as a very, very important. It's an important factor when considering job opportunities. And more than 50% of current employees want to, see, want to see diversity in the workplace increased as well. That's um, research that was carried out by Glassdoor. Now, um, let's look at inclusion. What is inclusion? Inclusion is when a company is inclusive, obviously, which means when its employees feel valued, respected, um, accepted, and encouraged, to fully participate in that organization. Um, inclusion can also be referred to as how people actually feel at work. Um, how do they feel at work? Do they feel part of the organization? Do they feel, um, you know, they're actually included, just as the word says, mm -hmm. are they actually included in the things that the organization are thinking about in terms of promotion, in terms of uh, contribution? Do they feel included or are they um, you know, sort of relegated to the back when these decisions are being made, when these things are being made and only brought forward to you know, make the company look good? Um, so it's, it's, it's highly important that um, both diversity and inclusion work hand in hand. Um, and having a diverse workforce truly, honestly, um, brings the best out of any organization because then you've got brains from different fields, different worlds, you know, you could have um, a disabled person, just because they're disabled doesn't mean they haven't got it up there. They could be 10 times better than, you know, an able-bodied person in a particular area. But because we haven't given them that opportunity to even come into the company, they, you know, they can't leave their diversity at the door. They can't say, oh, because I'm, I'm, I'm disabled or because I'm black or because I'm Muslim or whatever it is, um, to leave that at the door and we want to, you know, use their brain it's not possible they're not invisible you know they have to um be within that organization with whatever their, their, their characteristic is and i think it's very important that um organizations begin to embrace this it's highly important um recently we i don't know um if it was this week or last week there was an incident with kpmg where um obviously one of the senior um directors there um, made a comment that he's fed up of all this diversity thing. We can't be fed up, unfortunately. It's important that, you know, it's, it's, it's here to say, literally, it's here to say because that's what the world is. You know, the world is diverse. I mean, I've been to Gambia, I've been to so many countries. And honestly, what I come across is a diverse society wherever we go. Um, we're global citizens. So diversity has to be, um, you know, a key, 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 key factor on the agenda. Now, what are the benefits of uh, diversity and inclusion? Well, as, as they say, benefits, there's only, there can only be benefits. There can't be any disadvantages of having diversity. I guess the only disadvantage I would see is that we're still talking about it. I, I'm looking forward to that day where diversity and inclusion is not even on the menu anymore. It's just a given. It's just something that has to be. Um, so basically, and one of the benefits is that obviously we are privileged to attract the most qualified employees. It creates a happy workforce and high job satisfaction. The company enjoys innovation and greater financial success, obviously, that, that's very clear. Um, in 2020, employees can't leave their characteristics at the door. 
be it the race, gender, whatever. That was um, that quotation was um, from CNN Money, which when, when they were talking about um, the stats that represent um, diversity, the statistics show that the millennial and Generation Z are the most diverse in history, where only 56% of the 87 million millennials in the country were white as compared to 72% of the 76 million members of the baby boomer generation, incredible. In the 40 years between 1980 and 2020, the working age population will obviously have declined from 83% of the nation's total to 63%, while the number of minority workers will have doubled. This is due to retirement age, leaving the workplace and the younger generation being members of that minority group. So um, in a nutshell, what are we talking about? Basically we're saying, and we continue to stress it, that a diverse workforce is what really matters, is what would work, it's what will drive any organization, any company, any society, any country, any continent, it's what will drive them forward. It's what will drive success, sustainable success. That's what we're looking for. And a diverse, we're all here, we're all human beings. We're all here to fulfill a purpose. And that purpose is to use our God-given talents wherever we find ourselves. And organizations, companies need to be more open to, um, to this. We want to see more representation, just as much as we want to see them in organizations. We obviously want to see them in our schools because this is where foundation starts. Um, representation within the schools would filter into the workplace because it's the young people that finish schools, finish university, that come into the workplace and uh, representation is very, very key. So yes, um, I continue to stress it, diversity and inclusion is of utmost importance. Thank you very much.